Hello everybody, this is Captain Omar here, and today, uh, welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, I'm gonna be doing something a little different this time. Now, uh, before I, uh, make the first episode of Let's Play Five Nights at Freddy's first, uh, before I, before I make the first episode, uh, I wanna show you guys how I beat the 2020-2020 mode in Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, you're gonna say that I use big bug strategy. And the answer to that, no, I did not. I did not use big bug strategy. And just to tell you the truth, uh, big bug strategy actually kind of takes away way too much power. That's what I think. But hey, this strategy also does too. So, but this strategy is actually the, like the easiest so far. So what you so basically what you need to do is um, you need to okay hold on let me show you guys it's gonna pop up in a second okay so basically what you need to do is you need to put your cameras on Foxy and then the east hall corner wait for Freddy to come. There you are. And just basically what you need to do is you need to act like it's just a normal job at Five Nights at Freddy's. Or, or Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. So it's like a normal job. Oh, Chica, hi. Oh, hi! Jeez, you're already active. Bobby. Now basically what you need to do is you need to keep the cameras on the East Hall corner. Just to save power. You don't need to do big bug strategy because, in my opinion, that strategy takes away too much of your power. You already said that. I don't care, dude. No, you don't have to worry about Foxy that much because he will be asleep in his pirate scope. But just every once in a while, just to make sure he's still at his pirate cove. Still sleeping. Oh, hi. But I promise you, this will work. I actually got this strategy from Risk Rim. Uh, his strategy will be in the description below. Also, his channel will be in the description below as well. His strategy, like his video, and his channel will be in the description below. So if you guys want to go look it up, link's in the description. Make sure Foxy hits your door once. Like so. Like that. And when he hits your door twice, then you're gonna lose a lot of power. He's gonna steal your power away from you. That's basically what he does. But just make sure he hits your door once. Because if he hits it twice, you're bone around. Which means that you're dead. Gone already, huh? See, I'm at 65 or 64 percent. I'm at 2 a.m. right now, so this is a great strategy to use when you're safe in power. I think it's a good time to check on Foxy, right? So he's still in his power cove. That's good. Now this may take a few tries for you to get used to the strategy. Cause like, 
like with everything else, it takes a few tries to get used to it. You don't have to get it for like the first try, you know, because you don't need to get it for the first try. I've beaten this like twice already. So I just wanted to show you guys the strategy so you guys can follow what I'm doing. So you guys can beat this easily. Because this is the easiest way to do it. There's nothing else. Because there is more than one strategy to beat this knight. Still sleeping. I'm at 46% of power. It's 3 a.m. So I'm doing good so far. When you see yourself at like 45%, you're like 3 a.m., you're good. You're doing good so far. Just make sure Foxy doesn't hit your door more than once, you know? Because if he hits it more than once, then he takes away a lot of power, like I said earlier. When I won this for the first time, I didn't know I was going to get it. Because I've been practicing this every time. Oh, I didn't see him, but... Okay, he's peeking out right now, so we'll be okay for a little bit. Now this night is very stressful for a lot of people because of how fast you um, you do this. Because this night is very stressful for a lot of people, but because that's it's so stressful that it could be for a lot of people it can be um, hard for them to focus because. You know, when they're doing this, they think they're going to lose and they're going to be, you know, they feel like they're going to have a fever and everything. And That's why I felt too. So it's very easy once you get used to this night, so... Foxy's about to run for it. My heart is pounding like a... My heart's racing so fast right now. But like I said, when your heart pounds, it's... It's like you're gonna, like, lose this night, you know? But you will get this just as long as Foxy doesn't hit your door more than once, you know? And you'll get it, I promise you. You will get it. I will believe in you guys, seriously. I believe in everyone that does this, because... Because I care. You know? I care for a lot of people. Alright. Now, it's very easy when you do the strategy all right i'm done i'm done i'm done i'm cut i'm done okay No, you don't, you don't need to move when the power comes out. Just... Yes! Okay! 
<laughs> when I beat this for the first time, I, I finally realized how Markiplier felt. So yeah, that was Five Nights at Freddy's 2020-2020 mode. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, hope you guys followed the strategy. Um, by the way, I did not make up the strategy. Um, I used it from Risk Rim. Um, his channel will be in the description below and his strategy. So, um, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the strategy. Hope this will help. If it does, leave a like just to be sure. Now, like I said, you don't need to check Foxy every time because if you check him too much, then he will uh, come out of his Pyro Cove very often. So just at least check him like from every time. Just check him every once in a while because if you check him every time, then it kind of interrupts his sleeping. You don't want to wake him up. So anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope this helps. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hold on. Okay, yeah, so we got, okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.